This question is a collision question without a picture, so we better draw it out. A ball of mass M moving at velocity V collides with a ball or stationary ball mass 2M. So before collision, it looks like this. Moving mass M, uh, velocity, what's the velocity? V. Oh, okay, so let's so label D. And the other big ball is just not moving, so it's just chilling there. So not moving. Okay, sure. And after collision, what happens? After collision, they both stick together. Oh, so you kind of have to draw them stuck together like that. And if they're stuck together, it means they are moving at the same final velocity. So I don't know what that is. I'm just going to call it VF. What fraction? Ooh, that's a that's a weird word. What fraction of initial kinetic energy is lost on impact? Wow, we need to find the kinetic energy, man. Okay, so we can we can we can do that. We can do that. So the total kinetic energy before collision is half mv squared. That's it, I think. That's it. Okay, so only one ball is moving. So that is the contributor to kinetic energy. What about after collision? So after collision, you have two balls. So half total mass is 3m. But what is the final velocity? We don't know that. Eh? Oh, no. So we need to find what Vf is in terms of V. I think we need to take a pause and calculate using conservation of momentum. What is Vf? So on the top right there, I'm going to write out the working, how you can do that. So conservation of momentum means the total momentum before collision equals to the total momentum after a collision. So we could say something like, hmm, what's the total momentum before? Just one ball moving, right? MV. Okay, so we just say MV is the total momentum before. Mm, after that, total momentum is 3M VF. Okay, so that means Vf can be expressed as 1 over 3V. Oh, very nice. Okay, so let's, let's relabel this thing. So Vf, now we know, is 1 over 3V. That kind of helps. I mean, at least we know something in terms of V, which will be helpful when we are solving things later. Now let's continue. Okay, so we have a hiccup there, but we now know what the final momentum is. Oh, not plus, sorry. V 1 over 3V squared, half mv squared. Okay, so the final momentum here will be, oh my, let me just use a calculator. Half times 3 times 1 over 3 squared. That is 1 over 6 mv squared. Now, you might be very happy and like, yay, we have solved the question. No, we are not done yet. We are only halfway there, my friend. So don't happily go and start choosing answers. We are only halfway there. So the first thing you need to know is you want kinetic energy lost. You notice the kinetic energy before is larger than kinetic energy after. If I change them to the same denominator, this would be 3 over 6 mv squared. And it drops down to 1 over 6. What does that mean? That means, okay, so part 2, the kinetic energy loss will be 3 over 6 mv squared minus 1 over 6 mv squared. That will give me, what's that? 2 over 6. Okay, so 2 over 6 is equivalent to 1 over 3 mv squared. Now, if you're very happy and you say, yay, I found the answer. The answer is 1 over 3. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down. We want a fraction of kinetic of the initial so 1 over 3 is not a fraction, it's not a ratio, you need to do the fraction. So the final step, therefore, is to say, okay, let's use red colour now, fraction, actually, no need to write the fraction. I want the energy lost over the initial energy. So we lost 1 over 3 mv squared. What's the initial energy? 1 over 2? Okay, so 1 over 2 mv squared is your initial energy. There, from the diagram up here on the left side. Okay, this is our 1 over 2 mv squared, top left. So now we finally get to the answer. The mv squared and mv squared cancel out. So all that is left is 2 over 3. And this is a fraction or ratio. Finally, you have found the answer. And the answer is 2 over 3. 
So be very careful. This this question has so many steps. It, you, you have to make sure to find the velocity, then you find energy loss, and then you find the fraction. You can do all this in one step, but I'm writing this all out for you to see every every part of the section. Lah. Every 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 working for the step. But yes, you can do this in like one line or two, two lines. Okay, so that is all for this question. I will see you in the next one. Any doubts, just comment below.